Jimeka la penre la amhela na neola rona la mafuma hadi eleni the ladies clap umona mo kanele nyabu beti na lubiso la kaki lewo hang mutswedi and thank you so much for joining us as we shine the spotlight and all the game changers, all the trailblazers in women in sport. Now, Humpieno, our conversation is about women who break gender stereotypes in goalkeeping. Of course, you are welcome to join in the conversation on social media platforms. On Twitter, it's at sport at SABC. Just use the hashtag the ladies club. We're also on Facebook and Instagram as the ladies club. And I am also on at Lebo Motswedi. Now, I have an awesome guest with me in today as we've just seen today. Banyana Banyana goalkeeper Andy Letlamini is here. And I really cannot wait to get going with our conversation. So more from her a little bit later. But uh, I just want to also get into a very exciting uh, period where we talk about the quote for the day and that's before we continue the conversation with our with our guests now it's an inspiring quote and today's words come from the former miss world and miss south africa rolene strauss she says being a woman is a gift we have strength kindness and love we are women we are magic. That's Rolene Strauss, who is a beauty queen, medical doctor, and entrepreneur. She was crowned Miss World back in 2014, Kona London, after winning uh, Miss South Africa earlier that year. She is the third South African woman, in fact, to bag the prestigious Miss World title after Penel Penelope Ann Kulin back in 1958, as well as Annalena Creel in 1974. But quickly, back to our game changer. Briefly, let's just get an insight as to who exists exactly I have with me on the hot couch. Andina, welcome to the Ladies Club. Thank you, thank you, Osley. Woo. How does it feel to be here? I don't Ish, <laughs> <laughs> We got in any. A Kadli Harris and Ali Six Bomalumaka go team visa. Namarato is a team team. I mean, team team, small side of things, go strutting. Malumako, you are Naya Shopong, and then I had to come in. Malumaka never shot. Yeah, never shot. We won by four. So we were near hearts or by Kenyan. Hey, Bampoto, I get target the stain. That's the job. Yeah. Kora win. Kora. Kora. Yeah, until I'm pusha. <laughs> until I'm pusha, And then we're going to But win? Yeah, they won because of what my did goal. They win? What did they win? But we need 10 runs. And then when I told them, because we're not going to I'm going to next. Yeah, because I'm going to It's going to be absolutely exciting. We're going to continue that conversation because she says that she helped her uncles play a game. Uh, it was street soccer. And unfortunately, she was not even given the prize at the tender age of six. Now, we're going to go to a quick break. But before we do, let's take a quick look at what's making news when it comes to South African women in sport. Coach Dorette Bardenhorst will hit the ground running as she takes up her new role as national netball coach. Baron Horse, of course, was announced as the new head coach of the Proteus following the departure of Noma Plummer and will be assisted by a former player herself, Dumisani Chauke. Now, both coaches have signed performance-based contracts with the view of building a team to compete at the 2023 World Cup in Cape Town, the mother city here. South Africa, of course, remember them. They finished fourth at the 2019 World Cup in England, which is their third best showing at the tournament. Now for a quick break, when we come back, we continue with our conversation with our game changer today, Andile Lamine. Stay with us. Welcome back. We are joined in studio by Banyana Banyana goalkeeper Andile Tlamini and she is our game changer today. Now let me tell you a little bit about Andile. She made her Banyana debut back in 2011 against Botswana and has become one of the long-serving members at the team. Born in Tembisa, she started playing street soccer from the age of six with her uncles. She started her professional career with Pomolong Ladies and now plays on the regular for Mamelodi Sundowns Ladies. Her career high 
highlights include being named in the squad for the Cecil National Championships in 2013 and 15. I'm bragging about her now because she also traveled to the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio and also played in the 2016 Africa Women's Championship in Cameroon where she was named goalkeeper of the tournament. How's about that for an intro? Mm -mm. <laughs> I feel blessed. I feel blessed because uh, I, I, I didn't choose a goalkeeper. My coach chose, my late coach, Brian Dube. I changed her from, when I, when I got to my Melody Sundowns, I played three seasons as a striker. And then after that, how? Hey, I transition because Baba got about to be as a striker that that are only knowing you now and over oh, the past five years. About uh, to as a goalkeeper, only striker. You get a strike and you get a goal. You get a goal to now blocking the goal. Yeah. Okay, but then the transition is that you are going to go to the coach and you are going to go to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper is going to go to the goalkeeper. Nara tolo. Yeah. And then coach hari nara o gitlo mpanisha o. Ah, ka fela re tse matso go bolotsa. Hari. A bona to e big old of yours. Yo, she was the hands again. Yeah. I will see the hands. I want to see what he saw. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. And then nara e. Are you? Yeah, you're the chosen one. So I'm really genuine how he is so far as a a leading goalkeeper in South Africa, a ladies leading goalkeeper in South Africa. About Taba. On Taba. Yes. <laughs> Especially how to work at the National Women's League. Uh I I work hard. Tell me about oh, that. I, I work hard. I work extra hard. I I don't wait for training. I I do my individual trainings. Only one. Yeah. Especially Golden Knight Center with Coach Colin, mm. uh Coach Sean. Uh, in Bloemfontein, I travelled December before the World Cup. I travelled to Bloemfontein just to work with with Coach Sean, wow. um, so that he can he can work on my flaws because I'm not perfect. And when I got to the World Cup, I perfected uh, all those things that I was working, Katsuona. Uh, and yeah, here I am. You have to work extra hard. Don't wait for training. experience <laughs> La dizena, la dizena, banyana, banyana. Eh, kosafa ya atle ya tsama, le F kone ya atle ya tsama. Jiggy, jiggy, welcome. Hey. Yo, every girl's dream. I know. know. Yeah, we qualified for the first time. Yeah. Uh, playing the first game, mm -hmm. Andy Lila Min, you know, and your name is there, you're like, yeah. yeah. And what goes through your mind? You're in the middle of the field then. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm a believer. I, I believe so much in God. Yeah. And I'm like, God, I put you first. Yeah. Yeah. They made things very easy, even though we lost the game, but we enjoyed, uh, we enjoyed our World Cup experience. The first game, it was oh, so much emotions because of the penalties mm. we are, and mm. we, we Mm. Yeah, but uh, we enjoyed ourselves. And in your experience for when, personally, the traveling, you went to the USA, you played USA, uh, number one in the world, and, you, and everybody was like, how are they going to perform? But you didn't lose by a big scholar, and then you went to play Norway. Uh, firstly, working hard, knowing good you have work in your second you your second uh, lay on the lay already, we leaving your family behind. Lay on the lay, ignigas are lento, which I'm professional now. You know, I have to work hard, I have to act professional, I, I have to do things professional. But our coach, our technical team at the national team, uh, made, made things very easy for us, especially my goalkeeper coach. I can't forget him because uh, he always calmed us down. You know, uh, the goalkeeping department. Is, Hey, it's amazing, you know, uh, when you do a mistake, because mm. mm. you're clearly scattered seat, that you're going to play against USA, and then he needs to be there and motivate you. Sure. He kept on doing that, and we girls, so we, we are a little bit emotional. So, yeah, but he, he did a great job. Uh, went to the World Cup. Uh, people expected us to lose in uh, high school. Yeah. You know, but we played as a team, yeah. and it was our first time. We didn't have a professional league, uh, you know. Uh, they wake up every morning, 
go to training, mm. they eat football, uh, they do this for a living, they get paid for it. Mm. Uh, we don't. You have to wake up in the morning and, and find go a work, job. you know, or work three jobs uh, before, you know, you, you get to play your profession. And how game. does that make you feel? It's sad. It's really sad. It's really sad because uh, I don't want to compare. Yeah, I, 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 don't li I don't like comparing because everything happens for a reason. Maybe our time is coming. And I believe that um, for us to change women's football, we need a lot of sponsors to come on board. Mm. SABC is doing a great job by uh, putting us out there, you know, mm. every, every weekend. Every weekend. Yeah. You should just watch your TV every weekend at 2 p.m. and you see the ladies. So uh, they have to come on board and say, hey, this is what we want to do. We want to change women's lives. And I, I want to also get up in the morning and yeah. go to do what I love. Which and is, get paid for yeah, it. Yeah, and get paid for it. And it's passion, you know. I mean, we're talking about the equality, um, that, uh, the lack of equality when it comes to remuneration, be, whether it is a, a netball team, a basketball team, a women's football team versus your cricketers, your proteas, uh, the male side versus Bafana Bafana even. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so much inequality. Uh, they've gone to the World Cup, represented South Africa, come back, and we're all so excited about what they were going to be paid but it's still not even close to what a player that plays in the Bafana Bafana setup gets played. We're going to quickly go to a quick break but before we do that let's quick look at what's making news talks. We recently crowned the 2019 Varsity Netball Champs after they beat Martis 48-43 in a very tense affair at their Randberg Hall earlier this month. So congratulations go out to them. We're going to be talking about Mamelodi Sundowns as well as the future for Andy Day when we come back right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back. You are watching the Ladies Club. with me, Remember to catch us on social media platforms at Sport at SABC at Lebomotswedi. Now, today's trailblazer is a former Banyana keeper. You've heard her name before being mentioned by our game changer, Tokozile Darwin. And Tokozile obviously represented South Africa back in the 2012 London Olympics and has more than 78 caps to her name. Played an important role in the Olympic dream. Tell me about the role Tokozile has played in your life and your career. My role model, <laughs> she, she made Andile Lamini, she, she built the con uh, in RK Foundation. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Andile Lamini. Um, on your pay confidence, uh, there was a time where I felt like I was in the right place mm. among the national team. But Angtutuza, um, Angelo, um, they saw something when I was born. Mm. Yeah, over to now. Uh, after I camp, and uh, this is how you handle the ball. This is mm. what, yeah, because being being sabang and this was But to cool up uh, you know, unconvinced into how to move. Mm. You know, umuntu njalo magazini geza information. I get coachelas. Uh, go to uzile umta no mna nzom tateli space like. Ah, go to access. Go to ube a better to go zile mda we ni then. Yeah, but this is into layers and she. I, we are friends, like tight friends. I, I take her as as wow. So she's still there, yeah, uh, playing role. Ew. Yeah, she is. I, uh, we visit each other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Tell me about my melody Sundowns. We're seeing some of the pictures. Hey, Mona. <laughs> uh, how has it been being in a club? It's about Halang So Mo Africa. Amazing, you know. Um, it has been amazing. Bang uh, um, I have never bought soccer boots. Uh, wow. I've never bought soccer boots uh, since I got to Mamelodi Sundance. Into our Mantombazana Stragilang Ayo, they gave us clothing, yes. Wow, that's amazing. Um, yeah, man, it, it has been amazing. It's just that now we, we need, you know, uh, is more. It, is it more, which is Melisbe Professional League, man. I need to say like professional league. You can do say Melisbe Professional. Tell me, hey, you're talking about that league uh, when I How has it been since the start of the of, of the league? Yo, Lunep is every week now. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's nice, you know. Uh, as in the Kazaga Kuluji, one of them to have a sugar good, the Vesavazo Jala now, or when Suge, Hambio Jala, Yavona, a Capanji, Yavon in Tazin Jaloman. Hey, there you are, there you are. Ish, the game. But Ish, the game. Ish, yeah. This is the UJ Lady side up against uh, Mama Lady Sundance, which is yourself, yeah? Mm hmm. Rise above the ball. Bona. Ish. Hey. I mean, I, I enjoy playing here. Yeah. I enjoy playing here. Um, we're growing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what does it make you feel? How does it make you feel? I'm so emotional. Ah, uh, I mean, I know Amanda, she, 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 so you enjoy the experience, yeah, yeah, the National Women's League, the Suffer National Women's League. Yeah. But a couple of weeks ago, you were also announced as the head coach <laughs> of... Run. Give us the story. Tell us the news. Okay, um, I'm the new head coach of Randwick uh, Football Club. Imagine, a yeah. whole head coach, way. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think goalkeeper coach, head, head coach. coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, my kids are very disciplined. Uh, they welcomed me very nicely at Randwick. Abazal Babo, amazing, amazing parents. They're supportive. Mm -hmm. You know, Tina, my school, I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to my school. i Balapa all the time. And in the Zinjalo, like is Niggas are in Toguchi. Wow, isn't those their changes South Africa? True. You know? Their changes South Africa and Abazali are now taking women's football seriously. Um Basapota Bantana Babo, Bafunu Babona Bazalila I Banyana Banyan. Mabafunu Babona Bazalili Banyana Banyana Shuguchi that puts pressure mm -hmm. on e sports is Samantumba Zanu Guchi Gamele si cool is low schooler because Aban Anga slow develop Abantuana Guchi Bazu Pelela Gubanyana Banyana Melaba Hambu Sala overseas Melaba Yenza Lento Lefu in Piloyabu Bashali Bafugexin Bambu Lali Pola mm -hmm. Bahole from Lento Le. We're not whole at the moment. <laughs> From two years. <laughs> ah, but at least you're only head coach here in Berg. Yeah, I'm yeah, whole. At least you're a home, okay? Yeah, I'm a whole. I'm 17. Yeah, I'm 17. I'm a whole. I'm a whole. I'm a whole. Yeah. I'm a whole. I'm a whole. I'm a whole. I'm a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Because obviously during the week you need to train for the current league. You also need to be making sure you're a whole for Banyana Banyana. Yeah. And Mbonga uh, Kulugu, Lauren Duncan, Jenny yes. Van Veik, uh, because Ibabantu Abalobang Tutuza, Abang Pushai, especially in my career, I'm a coach. They first hired me as a goalkeeper coach. Wow, and at JVW? At Runbeck. At Runbeck, yeah, okay. They hired me as a goalkeeper coach. And then I had a Google Cup. So we were breaking cool. After that, when we got back, uh, I was a head coach. She had the potential. And then. <laughs> so you want to do this coaching thing? When's the D license? D license? Do you C want license? Then I also want to do goalkeeper coaching. Because yeah. I, I love being a goalkeeper and I love, I, I would love to create a lot of Andile Laminis and a lot of Abu Buffon, Abu Itumelen Kune. So I'm going to create a Abu Amantum Bazanak Pera. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have Because at King David's, I used to coach uh, goalkeepers, all goalkeepers. Mm. And when mm. coach Amantum Bazan, I'm going from grade 8 to grade 12. Nice. Yeah. So at the moment, um, you're not only looking after the young ones. Like, you're going to get in the age group. It's a senior. It's, wow. it's, it's, it's a senior team. So, in coach, I won't come to that. I'm not developing. So, get the most on the ball. Ah, yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. I'm a Raksa Mele 7. What do you mean? What do you mean? Mele 7. I'm a Raksa Mele 7. Get the same. <laughs> so tell me what a typical day is like for you. How to how say how to call Blele, blele your, your Wednesdays, for example. My Wednesdays, um, I don't train at Lorcop, so I wake up uh, in the morning, go to Nike Centre, mm -hmm. and you know, sevens and coach Colin. Mm -hmm. uh, that's individual training, and then. 
ngiyabuya ngiyageza i prepare for my for my kids cuz ngiyaba coach at runback so ngiyaba i prepare e training session sometimes i prepare a night before uh but in tando we prepare xin cuz they have to confirm if they coming or or they not and and prepare xin ng babone ukuthi okay bye ngakhi kanjalo and then at four, take a taxi, go mm. to uh, a run backing, your back coach, back from half past six sure. uh, to go to eight, and then come back, shower, and then see which by in the progression corner, and then sure. sleep, prepare for the next day, which is Ilanga Lugia, a Germanium, yes, and So, what is your favorite food? Oputu. Oputu, okay. In Kamaz or Mas? Kamas. Yeah, eh. Milk. Milk. So yeah. you don't do mas? Uh, I don't like. You need to go to the pang fung bus tool. So how do you stay in shape? You just train a lot? Yeah, I need to mean we go to the zong yen zang bus tool. Why are you guys so obsessed with the bus tool? Fung jumper. Okay, but we need you, we need you, okay, we need you for <laughs> Favorite holiday destination in Hawking? Okay. Yo, guys in. Yo, plele plele, keep keep it. Or rather, go go na koka. Yeah, in fact, I'm going because we need. When talang sa semana, we need to Mauritius, Mauritius, Maranya. But we need to Mauritius. We need to buy cheap. So I'm going to go to Mauritius. Ooh. So Paris. So so now so what lang? For a for. What Paris? What Paris? Yeah. Hey, since we look at what car was so chinchil. Ah, I should make lang na mal marako na. Yeah, but. Yeah. If you think a win, I guess. But you choose a good one, a win. Among a win, a fun one, yeah. Yeah, I'm so ti. Marangi le France as. Yeah, maybe mas ngai China. China. Yeah, I'm so kono buya nezinte ning. And then, where do you want to see yourself play? Anywhere in Europe. Anywhere in Europe at the yeah. moment. And you're working hard towards that goal. Yeah. Favorite song? Uh, Banyana. Uh, there's a song I, I made her. So. You made up a song? Yeah. Sun sun rutefe. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, how, what is it? How does it go? Uh, when uh, you just say, Oh, you can yeah. sing! Uh, I can't sing like that! Okay, what, what was that? Okay, what was I saying? I can't sing like that. Okay, what was I saying? Okay, what was I saying? There's no way I'm gonna belt that with that! I can't! Your voice is amazing! Okay, sing it, sing it! And then how does the rest of the song go? Mm. Okay, it's it's it, 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 Do you remember when there were dark days? Do you remember when there was no sun in the sky? All we had was each other, sisters for life. Our bond is so strong, it's supernatural, it's unbreakable, it's visible. And it's written in the sky. Yeah, basically away now, was it? <laughs> Look how far we've come together. Now they can't stand, stand in no way, no, no. Hi, <laughs> I think that's how we're gonna leave it. Thank you so much. I mean, that just get, gave me goosebumps and tears. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Marang is born in this. She's friendly this one. And that's all the time we have for Vagushin. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Remember, you're welcome to send your ideas of trailblazers or stories about women in sport that inspire you. And as we say goodbye, remember that greatness is earned but never given. Thank you for watching um, Le Womo with, uh, with who? Andy Le Lamini. Who? Andy Le Lamini. Remember that name. It's going overseas. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>